Uh, we're here in Ming. I'm now joined by fellow sports fans, Gem and Matthew and Danny Townsend. How are you feeling, Danny? Do you know what? I feel a bit like a spy girl. Because we're the stairs, like when they did Wannabe and they were the stairs. They did Bye! Bye! I always wanted to be a spy girl. I feel like this is my moment. How are you feeling, Gemma? And uh, they're all gay actually, and we were sort of picking our names. One of them was Chinese, we said he's Chinese Pie Spice, so I was Spice Frank. You're Barbie Spice! Barbie Spice! Yay! You're Barbie Spice! I'm Flat Spice! I'm the real deal Spice! Are you all real? Yeah, I'm a real baby. Well, well, as real as Pabby feels. You're also inside, man, on the outside. Anyway, the champagne is brilliant. The club's beautiful. What is the club? Carpet. I want the carpet well, in my house. Well, it's close up of the carpet, Marina. I believe that there should be more leopard print things in the world. We should have all wear matching leopard print undies. We should do that next time. Can we get leopard print support? Yeah. Gemma's got no knickers on. Gemma's gone commando. <laughs> she's she's got a commando style. She's forgotten to make pants with her. Yeah, I just didn't wear uh, <laughs> well, yeah. uh, she loves it naked. What about you, Marina? How are you feeling? <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> well, said I've drove three hours. Um, I hope, I, I hope. Yeah, that's what's really, I, I'm not, my nerves, my anxiety is not too good actually with actually having to go through that trauma of Eve driving afterwards. She's totally doing she she pass. Yeah, she does this as steering wheel, it's a straight road, she goes like ah. <laughs> I do. She goes really deep to white line, I'm like ah. I went, and she, I went, oh, I said, next service station. I said, I'm going to take over. She said, how long have we been driving for? I went, about 20 minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not used to it all the time, darling. I got the train and I just think it is just safer than me driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear about that story. <laughs> and then last night I said to a sports show, actually a few jobs ago, I was driving along and I was really early, I was going to turn up early, and a lorry tried to kill me. <laughs> it went in my lane, took my car, a little two seat sports car, and it's a foreign lorry and they can't see it because they're mirrored to my face, they sit on the wrong side of the bloody car. And they tried to kill me, but I didn't die because I'm really hard. Like, I took on like a 12 ton truck of one. <laughs> so, check me out. You're really um, formal. Needless to say, the first thing I was saying, phone the sport, tell them we're going to be a bit late. We'll get a cab, we're still going. And the sport rang me back and they were like, Danny, go home. Have a rest, you've nearly been killed. You went to the job, didn't you? No, they, all right. You, no, you were determined to go, though, wasn't you? Yeah. Aww. You've got a pay. Well, yeah, of course yeah. you got, oh, still got paid. That's how lovely it is. They are lovely. Oh. And actually, now, the lorry driver. Luckily, I had the chauffeur in the car with me. I didn't kill him either. Marina's just well, licked my champagne glass, well, but I'm going to have to drink like this. Oh! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I think it was that lady that nicked mine. Oh. oh. Jessica Rabbit. It did, yes. Oh, it's all right. There's I loads like of two bottles anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, say goodbye girls, the batteries are going to go. Oh, right. What I can do is, I can just get the batteries out of my dildo, we're alright, don't panic. Oh, let's give us loads of songs, one, two, three. I thought let's give them a three. What? Let's give us a kiss, honey, one, two, three. Come on.